What is up guys, Stacklabs here, and as you probably know, the iOS 10.1 Beta 1 has been released yesterday. This is a new version of the iOS 10 that is gonna fix some issues, add some features, and all that stuff. So guys, today I got the simple tutorial how you can actually install it on your iPhone. This tutorial will also work for the future betas like iOS 10.2 or iOS 11 even. But anyways guys, without any further ado, let me go ahead and show you how you can actually install it. So now this is really really simple guys, so all you have to do is just go ahead and go to your Safari browser. Now go to this website, it's called amps4theiphone.net and as always, links below so don't worry about that. Next you need to click on this menu, select iOS beta right here and there should be a first link to it. So this one is currently the iOS 10.1 dev beta 1 profile. Now this will be changed to probably iOS 10.2 or iOS 10.1 beta 2 in the future so please don't be frustrated after this will be changed so now you need to click on this little icon of the iOS 10 now there should be an ad for 5 seconds now we should just wait ignore any pop-ups because those are only ads so ignore all of them now it's gonna be counting to 0 now we can skip this ad and now we will be able to install the profile so go ahead and install this one so click install, install once again, install, and then you will be able to restart your iPhone. So right, I'm going to restart my iPhone right now and I'm going to come back right after this will be restarted. And now after you started your iPhone, just go ahead and go to your settings, then go to general, to software update, and there you should see the iOS 10.1 developer beta 1. This is a developer version and this is pretty cool. You don't have to have any developer account for this and this is totally free. Now. Go ahead and connect your iPhone to a wall adapter so it will be charging and you will be able to restore your iPhone to the newest iOS beta. And I'm probably not gonna restore this iPhone to the newest iOS 10.1 because this iPhone actually runs the iOS 9.3.2. This is a reserve iPhone so just in case there would be a jailbreak, a 32-bit jailbreak for this iPhone, I'm gonna have this specific firmware so I will be able to do the jailbreak. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a huge thumbs up on this video if you like this one. And also please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I hope you guys have a great day and peace out.